What's up everybody this is Mehul and welcome to your 21st PHP tutorial in which we'll be looking at a function scope in PHP. Now variable scope is usually a function scope in PHP because um, I don't know PHP is made to work like this. So what happens with a variable is that let's say I have created a variable my var is 1 here and I have a function here let's say test function and here I want to echo my var now this won't work and why because in PHP inside a function you cannot access the variables declared or used outside a function and the variables declared or used inside a function you cannot use them outside a function now these two statements have a big difference so let's say I have uh, my var equals 100 so here now this is defined but this isn't overriding the value declared here so if I do like echo my var here then this would still echo 1 but if I do like test function here and I echo a new line here so as to separate the view then this would echo 100 and this would echo 1 so let's take a look oh, I always forget to enclose that in double quotes so you see the first one is 100 and the second one is 1 so you see that the value of my var isn't overwritten by this function now what happens if I remove this now obviously this function doesn't have a chance to know what my var is so for it it is undefined right now so if I reload this you can see that notice undefined variable my var and all that information right here so <coughs> that's scope working in PHP and this is how scope works in PHP so you can't have variable access which are declared outside a function in the function and declared in the function as outside a function so it's kind of a thing like uh, what happens in a function remains <laughs> in a function so yeah you can interpret it like that but there are some variables or you can say some globals as super globals now we would be learning about those in a few tutorials only and those super globals can be accessed anywhere in your script so they are that's why they are called super globals so we'd be looking at them what they are and how to make a PHP script using them and that's it for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching